Good evening. Welcome to another exciting edition of Sewing a Bourbon. I'm Glenn. This is Charlie, as usual. Charlie, tell them what's on the bar tonight. Tonight we have a beautiful offering from Frey Ranch. It's their farm strength. Farm strength. Bourbon. Uncut. Unfiltered. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Frey Ranch Farm Strength Bourbon. Farm Strength. Farm Strength is just their way of saying cast strength. Cast strength, right? So Bottled without water. What God intended. You can't put <laughs> Farm Strength on there and not expect me. That, exactly. Like Farm Strength. Like you Give Charlie an excuse to act a fool and he's going to do cast it. Cast Strength. Farm Strength. Uncut, unfiltered, Farm Strength, Cast Strength. It all says blah, that blah, blah, on blah, the blah. bottle. It all says that. So let's get to it. Let's get let's to get it. Let's get to it. Frey Ranch. Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, this is one, once again, I haven't had. We haven't done an episode on. I was out in Las Vegas last summer and hoped to go visit the distillery, but they weren't open the days I was there. I think they were only open on the weekend, if I remember correctly. But Distilleries will do that. They will be open on the most inopportune e times. <laughs> exactly. Like, we're so, open seven days a week, except Tuesday through Sunday. Exactly. And, you know, it is what it is. But... Regardless, we have it here before us tonight. Frey Ranch prides itself on growing everything that goes into the bottle. So they are a farm to glass farm distillery. To glass. This is a four grain and it's five years old. Okay, four grain, five years old. Good stats, yes. I like it, keep going. Their farm strength bottles range in proof from 120 to 130. This particular bottle is 121.76. Oh my gosh. Don't forget the Don't forget seven, the seven six. six. Okay. And the mash bill, let's talk about the mash bill. Okay, talk about it. Why don't you run through the mash bill? It is 66.6 non-GMO corn. I don't know why they did 666. Devil whiskey. Put that down. 12% barley, 11.4% winter rye, and 10% soft white winter wheat. So not for sure what the difference between winter rye and regular rye is. Usually you see soft red winter wheat. Yep. And so I don't know, maybe that's the difference. Maybe it grows better out there than in the desert the but yeah that's what we got so and msrp on this bottle 79 bucks 79 bucks yeah uh we'll talk briefly about the bottle it is ginormous it weighs 600 pounds um i mean i don't know if you can see the glass base on that like it is a monster i like bottles like this because at 79 bucks when i'm done with it i'll peel the label off and it makes a great decanter for an yep. infinity bottle we got to talk about the cork, um, it is a bolt with the Frey Ranch logo on it, and it is very heavy. Very heavy. So if you open it and you've got a buddy that says something derogatory, you can throw it at him. <laughs> hit uh, him right. In the hit him right in the face with it. Um, let's let's get into this All thing. Right. And once again, thanks to our uh, friend Andy, who is sitting here in the live studio audience, who brought this bottle for us. So it's kind of light in color. Um, kind of, it is. It is light. In it, color it's pretty for light. A, for uh, 120. Yeah, no water in the mash fill. 121, almost 122 proof. That's interesting. Five years old. Pretty light. So I have a theory on that. Is it that it was aged in the desert? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's possible. So it's but, not going in and out of the wood yeah, like it's it would just if sitting it was, in heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you bring up an interesting thing. Do we typically like things that have been aged west of the Mississippi for an extended period of we time? We typically have not, uh, not except for, um, oh, what's the... Uh, ben Holiday? Northern California. Um, oh, uh, uh, that doesn't count. It gets cold up there. I know. Well, it gets cold in the desert at night. You talking about the tree whiskey? Yes. I can't think of what it's called. Andy, just say it. Redwood Empire. Redwood Empire. Red Empire. Empire. Oh, All right, let's nose this thing. All right, let's do it. God, that's interesting. It's a yeah, it's got a nice nose. There's there's a fruit flower? Fruit and flower? Fruit there's flower. Definitely, there's a floral note floral and a fruity note. Flower fruit. But it's not like a perfumey uh, no floral. E no ethanol. I get very little ethanol. Yeah, that, it's a little tricky because it almost it starts out almost with that young uh -huh. note to it. But, but it's not. It, it, no, it, yeah. It's uh interesting nose and i like interesting things 
That is real. There is a there is a note there, a grain note. There's a grain that note, I cannot yeah. quite put my finger on. Which is it's not that because you know me, I get that cut grass or cut wheat. Yeah, that's not what it is. It's something different. You know what it is? What? It's non-GMO corn. Sixty-six point six percent of it. That's what All it right, is. Let's drink it. Cheers. Fragrant. You know what? That's pretty good. It's pretty straightforward. It's uh, sweet. It's not super complex. It's uh, there's a lot of sweet corn on it, but not in a bad way. And it's it's just proofy enough. A little bit of heat on it, but not overwhelming. And a little bit of oak on the finish. It's it's uh, that <laughs> that's my review. That sums it up. Do I like craft distilleries? You love craft distilleries. We both love craft distilleries. I do love craft distilleries. I really like this bottle because I feel like I can taste through the grain, and mm -hmm. I I love I love it. I love being able to taste the grain in, in the best way. The corn is nice and sweet and you kind of get it. At the, mm. the sweetness comes, I feel like, from the corn. That really sweet, almost like a cream corn. Well, it's got some wheat. It's... Yep. Not crazy about the wheat, but no, the wheat is fine. It, I feel like the wheat probably softens it up a little bit, which is what wheat's supposed to do. It's not supposed to taste like wheat. Wheat tastes like garbage. Um, I really like it has a nice malty and then a nice rye to it. The finish hangs around, and I'm, I'm back to getting the finish is like in the middle of my tongue, and it's kind of a balancing act of oak and rice spice and sweet. The finish is really nice because I, I feel like the finish, it, it's a million-dollar finish for me because I get a lot of flavor on the finish. It's not just oaky. I took three drinks while you were talking, so by the I, way. I'm a little surprised by that because, to me, the finish is the weakest point. And but let me go back to it again. Maybe I'm wrong. So you say something stupid. Glenn, you ignorant slut. Um, I really like this bottle. I, I feel like um, it has a lot of really nice character. I love, we'll talk things that Charlie likes. Charlie likes a handsome bottle. Charlie likes craft distiller. Charlie likes transparency. The mash bill is on the back. Everything on the side tells you all about it. They are hiding nothing. Um, I'm getting a lot more vanilla on the second sip. Um, I don't think I've got vanilla yet. The finish is okay. It's. Are, are you see what I mean? It's. I feel like the it's okay. finish is. It's, it's okay. It's. For it's me, dissipating like it's already. For me, the finish is flavorful. It's not just oak. Mm -hmm. I get that sweetness that just hangs around. And maybe I'm explaining. Maybe we're we're doing the same thing, only different. I feel like the sweetness hang around, <laughs> hangs around for a long time. That kind of corn sweetness. The rye spice also hangs around for the a long time. The rye spice does. Hang and around. I like that, that it, to me, if it hangs around longer than the finish, then that's the finish too. And yeah. I, I'm I think there's really a, surprised by this one. I'm trying to figure out this floral. No, oh, I know. The nose is confusing. Well, it's on the nose the, and it, it's on the palate. It's, is it it's honeysuckle? A, you dirty... That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is on the nose. I'm just kidding. I made that up. No, you no, didn't. No, I'm joking. It smells exact. <laughs> now I can't. Now it's in my brain. That's a great grab there. Uh, this is episode seven where Glenn has said something insightful, which is he's becoming too powerful. Seven out of 320. Shh, we didn't. They didn't even good. know the stats. <laughs> I, no, I. That's a great that's, grab that's a out nice of nowhere. Note. And it kind of reminds you of, you know. Before they cleared everything out and, you know, put houses everywhere when you'd walk through a... Back in my day, <laughs> this was all well, honeysuckle Well, I say that specifically fields. because when I moved into my neighborhood, we had woods behind our house and there was honeysuckle everywhere. And then they tore that down and built homes, which is great. I'm a realtor. I like to sell houses, so that's wonderful. Well, then there was... 
There were so, other, so. other places in the neighborhood where you could go on a walk and smell the honeysuckle. Well, now that's all gone now, so I don't have any honeysuckle I can smell. Hence, fourth, I get to drink this. If that makes any sense at all. The more you drink this, the better it is. I would agree. Which is and I would probably say the, the case the most thing. I, I is coming on a little, a little stronger. I like, um, I like unique. This tastes very unique. I can't, can you, if you had to say, oh, this tastes like, can you come up with anything? Because the only one I can come up with. The floral note isn't uh, one of uh, Four Roses mash bills. Doesn't it have a really floral forward I like profile? Four, I like Four Roses. But and I'm not comparing it to Four Roses. I'm just saying if I had to pick something. I don't know. And all the bourbon geeks out there, they're, oh, yeah, that's OSVQ or whatever. That, I you don't You messed it up. Now we're going to get hate mail. <laughs> what, it, what this reminds me of is, and you know that I love um, Alan Bishop, mm -hmm. the um, whiskey alchemist, yep. who was uh, previously at French Lick, Spirits of French Lick. I love his stuff. It's a pre-prohibition style. It's, it's different in both creation and mash bill and, and you can, it's grain forward in all the best ways. This reminds me of a West Coast version of that. A little sweeter, a, a little, I don't know, it's just different, but it reminds me of that because you, you taste the grain and you, you kind of taste, it, if something is farm to glass, you want it to taste that right. way. I don't want to open it and be like, oh, it tastes like Buffalo Trace or whatever. Like I want it to taste like yeah. they grew it. And I wouldn't, and there's, I've, I've had a lot more grain forward whiskeys than this one but the it is there and I, i've come to really love four grains in the past it's a good four grain. So i like this it's 70, a good one 79 bucks i know it's not cheap um but i mean heck you get a decanter out of the deal so heck yeah and it's a and, good one to have on the bar yeah. Rate support it. uh support uh craft distiller a grain yeah, glass so, craft distiller you know how what, can you not in this economy craft distillers need our help so they stop really do. buying a bunch they of... They really do. Uh, They're struggling yeah. right now. Like, so get out there and buy a bottle from a craft distiller. Make a difference in, you know, somebody's Absolutely. So Are we rating it? Rate it. Here comes a six. I will give this a 6.8. Solid seven. I like this one. I like this one a lot. If it was a little cheaper, I would rank it higher. $79 is a lot of money. Um... I like this one a lot. Yeah, it, I wish it had a little bit more depth, a little more nuance to it. It doesn't, but that's fine, right? What's there is good. Yep. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. So, yep, non-chill filtered. That's, that's all we have Non-chill filtered, cast strength, four grain, craft yeah. distiller. Can't go pretty wrong. Good. Can't go wrong. Tell the people what to do. Well, we would love for you to check out our merch. Page, which we will link in God. the comments and right here on our YouTube channel. We got shirts. We got hats. Shirts. We got golf towels. Tell us what you want to see. You want us to make koozies? We'll make koozies. Yeah, let us know what you want. Yeah. And also check us out on our socials, So in the Bourbon on Facebook, Instagram, Whiskey Realtor on TikTok. Tell them what else. You got to keep your wallets loose, people. And your bone holes. Tight. Far strength. Good night, everybody. Um, this is their cut. <laughs> I just had like a brain fart. Four grain. Yes. Okay. This, this is their cut. Pull. Pull. Cut. Dang bow. Pull. Pull. <laughs> that sounds. That'd be a great magnet. Heavy is good. Heavy is reliable. If it doesn't work, you can always hit them with it. We need to do that again. <laughs> I did kind of look down at farm strength. Because I was going to say cast strength, but I knew it wasn't. Let's try it's, it again. It, it's called... I think you're right. Farm it is. Uncut, unfiltered. Yeah. Cast strength. It is cast strength. They just farm call strength it, they uncut. They call it farm strength. All right, farm strength. It's farm strength. Farm. All right, let's do let's that. Try I'm going to make fun of farm strength. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, action. No. The good thing is I have... I do the editing, so I can edit anything bad that I say out. And All leave the funny endings. <laughs> Three, two, one. Man, we're so insane. We're so good at clapping. I wish we were half as good as bourboning as we were at clapping. Hmm. Frey Ranch, take one, action.